From the Longboard Technology Labs, we'd like to introduce to you a Prototype 4 that integrates aerospace technology. Oh, yeah. this is, right here, we have a Baltic, bo Baltic birch core mm -hmm. that's been laminated in unidirectional and bidirectional carbon fiber. So we have strengths not only from tip to tail, but also from side to side, and also from edge to opposite edge. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So we all we have extreme torsional strength. <laughs> I can't really grab the board, right. but yeah. So and actually, the the goal with this deck was torsional strength. Right. We wanted to build a board that didn't have any torsional flexing. Yes. Yeah, so that means when you would apply. <laughs> load mm -hmm. or you would turn the board with your heel the front and rear trucks would be receiving the same amount of energy to manipulate the trucks mm -hmm. so it wouldn't rely so much on both fore and rear foot manipulation to get the trucks to do what you wanted but simply apply leverage to the deck and it would apply the same leverage from the front to the rear truck evenly so that was the major goal of this deck. Yeah. So I'd say that I've actually gone too far and made the board too stiff, but that's it's what the project not, is for. Yeah, exactly. It's it's, it's 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 a it's a it's a experiment in stiffness, explicitly torsional stiffness. If um if this was an experiment in three dimensional shape of the board, this is an experiment in torsional stiffness, and undoubtedly the next board will um, involve creating three-dimensional structures to integrate both torsional stiffness mm. and more complex mm. 3D shapes to accommodate yeah. wheel wells and more foot accommodating yeah. geometry yeah. or whatever. More foot contours yeah. to make your, your hooves happy. <laughs> so yeah. So you're actually in a uh, composites class right now. That's right. So part, this of, part of my manufacturing degree involves uh, understanding composites. So I've had an opportunity to take a composites course that uh, has given me unlimited access to composites. So I'm getting the opportunity to learn about the mechanical properties of composite materials. And the opportunity to make skateboards. Exactly. <laughs> That's pretty much the only reason they talked me into going to summer school was the opportunity to make skateboards. So here I am, <laughs> and here's the first prototype, using carbon fiber mm -hmm. as a laminate material in a skateboard deck. This thing is stiff. I literally jump on it, and I cannot feel any give. I mean, this is hands down the stiffest skateboard I've ever been on. It also has a radical kicktail that has virtually no flex and translates all of the energy straight through the deck to give it the best feel and have the immediate response on the trucks. So on this one, we don't have the, the wheel wells on there right now. No, we do not. I wanted just to isolate the deck and make sure that we're building a deck that is stiff in all directions and has virtually no torsion flex. So, how does this compare with this with wheel wells and this without? It's virtually impossible to ride aggressively without the wheel wells. I keep grabbing my wheel with my foot and even if it's just a little bit, it just immediately stops the board and I just constantly struggle to make, you know, my foot pad pattern in the right spot mm -hmm. and it prevents me from actually doing what I want to do which is ride the skateboard. Yeah. For me, so I was, I was riding this a little bit today for a couple hours and when I step on this one I'm constantly looking for those wheel wells and they're not there and it feels, um, it definitely feels like it's missing something. I, I, I love about these wheel wells on this one. So, see if I can hold on to something because I'm filming. But I'll put my foot right here and I'll have my toe on this and I'll rotate my toe on this, on the wheel well. Yeah. 
for something that would be considered an obstruction on the deck surface actually has become quite a feature mm -hmm. of the deck. It's more than a gas pedal, it's almost like a binding. Yeah, just a... when I'm doing like a really hard carve, I can just literally just put my feet like right on the side on them right there. And you're translating all that load right to the deck. And right And just pivot to the front, back. pivot to the back, because you don't always want your weight in the back. You know, when you're, going, when you're carving hard, if you have too much weight on the back, you can lift your front up too easy. So, nice to pivot and move around. It's, a, it's so nice. They, you know exactly where your feet are. No, it, they're an awesome reference point. In fact, that is one of the reasons this board feels so numb. You know, it's got great feel as far as stiffness and, you know. Everything response. translates. But because yeah. I don't have those awesome spots to reference my feet from, I don't know where I'm at on the deck and I cannot, you know, activate certain moves quite as effectively. But, hey, it's gotta start somewhere and you're looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite thing about this one, so let's see, it's gonna put me in seat a little bit better. Favorite thing about this one, with the giant wheels, it looks, well, I think it kind of looks like a, like a monster truck type of thing. The fenders make the wheels almost look bigger. And because the shape of the, our, our base plates with the two triangles on it, you know, when you're, it can almost look like it's got suspension underneath it, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it just looks really cool. And this is what's really, really cool. Look how well those wheels articulate into those wheel wells. Yeah. That is what makes this whole project unbelievable. So, again, this is Other Planet, over and out.